workshop quality tools are a good investment because they make life easier. Hello, David here with your essential guide to the tools that you need to keep your bike running nice and smoothly. Whether you're a new cyclist and you've just bought a brand new bike and you want to know what basic tools you need to keep it running nice and smoothly, or you're a more experienced cyclist doing some more complex jobs and you might have a fleet of bikes like me and you want to know what tools you need to do some of those more tricky jobs. So in this video, I'm gonna go through some of the very essential basic tools right through to some more advanced tools that you can do on your bike. And the guys at Lazain have kindly equipped me with some brand new tools, seriously upgraded my toolkit and my bike fettling capacity. I should add, there are plenty of other tool brands available, Park Tool, Lifeline, uh, to name a few. So plenty of options out there, go and do a Google search, but I'm just going through your tools um, just to give you a demonstration of what is available. Let's start with a set of Allen keys and every cyclist needs a good set of Allen keys. You can do most jobs on a modern road bike or mountain bike with a good set of Allen keys. This here from Lazain has all the sizes you need from 1.5 up to a massive size 10. So all the sizes you're likely to need. These are high quality tools as well, like workshop quality tools that so can be really durable, really reliable. And they've got this handy plastic carrier which opens up so you can get to the tools nice and easily. And they're held in this nice plastic carrier, very secure. And on the end of this eight millimeter, you have a ball ended Allen key as well. So that's for tricky spots and plenty of leverage on that one for getting pedals off, which is the most popular requirement for a size eight. And down to a 1.5 for the small tricky jobs to do. So they've got really nice feel to them, really high quality. I like how this plastic carrier snaps closed. So that's a, a thing of uh, quality. So those cost 25 pounds, a really good investment. Um, that will last for years and years and years. I mean, that's probably the one set of anarchies you'll ever need for the rest of your cycling career. And you pass them down the family as well. So nice set of Allen keys there, 25 pounds. I'll put prices down below. Uh, maybe just go and check out the Lazion website for prices in your region, whether you're watching UK, US, or wherever you're watching from. So good set of Allen keys. That's number one on my list. Now, number two is a really cool thing from Lazion called the Porter Shop S. So S for smaller, do a bigger version with more tools. This is designed as a travel kit. So if you're going bike racing or you're going uh, to Mallorca or somewhere, you want to put a essential toolkit in your bag or case. This has everything you need, but it's also a really good starting home workshop kit. It's got a really nice padded bag, really tough wearing, got a little handle as well so you can carry it. And inside, you have all the tools you're likely to need for the most basic through to uh, intermediate jobs. It opens up into this lovely uh, display. You've got all nicely padded pockets, little Velcro covers that keep everything secure. All the tools are contained in three main multi-tools. You've got Allen keys there, you've got your Torx there, and you've got your Phillips and your flat blade screwdriver, your bottle opener just in case. You've got a tie lever by the looks of it and a big eight millimeter for doing your pedals. So very nice tools. This one's really neat. This is your Allen key and you do most jobs with this. Goes up to a size six and quite neatly, the smaller sizes are 1.5 and 2.5. If I open it up, you see that the 1.5 is duplicated. So you have a straight one and an L-shaped one. And that's really useful for some of those trickier jobs to do on some bike components, like brake levers, uh, lever reach adjustment and so on. So a really nice set of CNC machine, high quality tools there. The same again for the Torx. Torx is a increasingly popular uh, standard being used on bikes. T25 has become quite popular. Um, certainly makes working on bikes easier, less chance of rounding off the bolts. This is a nice tool. You've got your eight millimeter, nice size for getting your pedals off. You've got a bottle opener and a disc brake wedge if you need to move the disc brake pads apart. You've even got a tie lever. So that's a good set of tools. And then we have a chain tool. Now a really essential tool. Every mechanic, every cyclist needs a chain tool because you never know when disaster might strike. And that's a really high quality, precision made chain tool there. We have a couple of plastic, generously sized tie levers. So that's a really good set. Now that is quite pricey. It's 80 pounds, but you're getting everything in there you need. Uh, all the essential tools, that is a really good uh, starting point if you're new to cycling 
and you want to spend a bit of money on some high quality tools to look after your bike. So I would recommend something like this. Get you started, get all the basic tools you need, and then this is a good starting point for some more advanced tools uh, down the road. So that's a Leesign Porter Shop S. As I said, there's a bigger version available if you want even more tools. Next on my list is a torque drive, like this one here. Probably not an essential for a beginner, but definitely an intermediate tool. A bit more costly at £50, but definitely an investment if you're doing a lot of work on your bike on a regular basis or if you're building your bike yourself. You'll notice on most bolts on a bike around a stem and handlebars, for example, there's a torque setting. And that is the, the maximum tightness for that bolt, to put it in layman terms. Go beyond that recommended setting and it can be uh, dangerous. That component can lead to failure in worst case scenarios. So having a torque drive like this will make sure you torque the bolts to the correct manufacturer recommended setting. So it's a really nice tool. And there we go, what a lovely presentation that is. So that's a torque drive down the middle, an extender, and all the tool bits you're likely to need from a Phillips head screwdriver, flat blade screwdriver, uh, a two millimeter Allen key up to a six, then a couple of uh, Torx bits. And if I get it out, look how nice that is. There's some assembly required. Simply remove the end, push a bar through the tool and thread the cap back on. And it's very nicely made and feels lovely in the fingers. On the end of the tool are the Torx settings. Simply tighten a bolt to the desired number and hey presto, it's that simple. So that is a really good investment if you want to make sure your bolts on your bike are all tightened to the correct manufacturer recommended torque setting. A little bit more expensive than your basic tools, but a really sound investment. And that one will definitely look after your bike in the long term. It'll definitely, not something you use on a regular, regular basis perhaps, but a really useful tool to have. And have a really nice tool from Lazine is the ratchet kit. So having a ratchet can make working on a bike much easier sometimes. And open it up and wow, what a nice presentation that is. That's a lovely set of tools. So that's your ratchet. You have this pops onto the end. Like so, you choose the direction that you're tightening or loosening and you choose the bits you want. And we have a full range from two millimeter Allen keys right up to an eight. And we have a flat blade screwdriver and a Phillips head screwdriver and three Torx bits. So you choose the tool that you need, pop it into the end there. Got a little magnet in the end to make sure it doesn't fall out. So it's not going to fall out. And then you loosen or tighten away. And for bolts that are tricky to reach in certain parts of the bike, that can certainly be an advantage. Oh, it sounds lovely as well. That's a nice sound that is. So that is a really useful tool that can speed up uh, working on a bike, no end. So that is the Lazine Ratchet Kit. Not an essential perhaps, not like the Allen Keys we mentioned earlier, but if you've done a lot of work on a bike on a regular basis, it can make life a lot easier and a bit speedier. It's a really nice tool and look how nicely padded it is. So that is a useful tool to have. And then we'll move on to some more essential tools you're going to need. Something that I consider an essential purchase even for a new cyclist is a good quality pump in particular a track pump or a floor stand pump like this one here. Let me zoom out a bit. I've seen many new cyclists, even more experienced cyclists struggling with mini pumps. Having a good quality pump like this is essential to making sure you're running the right pressures on your bike all of the time. It just makes life much easier. This is a Lazine alloy digital drive and it costs 90 pounds, so quite an expensive one but they do start from 36 pounds in the range. And they have loads of models to cover different price points, but this is just a high-end one, but you don't have to spend this much, you can get them much cheaper. Um, it just has a much bigger chamber, uh, makes inflating tires much easier and quicker. And this one has a digital pressure gauge on the bottom, so you can easily hit the right pressure for your bike. You've got PSI and bar, a different unit of measurement. It's really nicely made. Got a CNC machine aluminium shaft here. Got a nice wooden handle. Got a good solid heavy base, so it's not going to topple over. And you've got two feet for standing on, so you keep it planted. And we've got a really high quality ABS Pro chuck, the bit that goes onto the valve on your bikes, and it's compatible with Presta, the skinny ones, and Schrader, the car type ones. And you simply remove the CNC machine barrel and turn it over to the one you need and that simply screws onto the valve. You've got an air pressure bleed button there, so you can just release air, to get down to the target pressure. And on the back, you've got a valve core remover, useful for tubeless insulation, so you remove the valve core if you need to um, get more air 
into your tire. And you've got a really high quality braided hose as well. So it's all just nicely made, really sturdy. Like I said, a really good investment. And I bought a track pump many, many years ago when I was fairly new to cycling. And it's I've still got it somewhere. And it just one of those tools that I use so often. It goes in the back of the car. I've even taken it traveling with me when I've gone on cycling holidays. It just makes inflating your tires so much easier and so much quicker. And if I carry one of these on the bike, I definitely would, but it's a bit cumbersome on the bike. So have one of these in your garage or shed at home. It just makes life easier. You make sure your tires are inflated to the right pressure. Um, you're not struggling with a little mini pump, which gets hot after a, a little use. So definitely something I'd invest in. And as I said, they start from lower prices, 36 pounds. I think they start from on the design website. So definitely worth considering. So you can't go wrong with a good set of tire levers. I've actually got two to choose from. I've got these oversized plastic ones, and plastic is good because it won't damage the tire bead or the rim. And these are XL, so plenty of leverage for more stubborn tires, especially useful for tuber tires on some rims. So a really nice set of bright yellow. And if plastic is not good enough for you, you want a nice metal CNC machined tire lever, then these are the ones for you. Really nicely machined, got a nice lip on the end. These are really good for very stubborn tires. They're not gonna bend or, or snap at all. Gonna last a long time as well. They're very durable. You quite neatly got a 15 millimeter pedal spanner on the end. And just in case you need it, a bottle opener as well. So three tools in one, can't complain of that. Then moving on to some more intermediate to advanced tools. These are essential, but are nice tools. And if you're doing a lot of work on your bike on a regular basis, they would definitely come in useful. And two sets of tools that are really, really nicely made are these pair of Allen keys. Got a six and an eight, which are two very common sizes. Eight is used for pedals a lot of the time, and six is quite a popular size on bikes. Got lovely wooden handles, so very ergonomic, nice to use. They feel great in their hands. And you've got high quality steel tool bits and you've got ball ended joints on the bottom as well. So that's good for fiddly, hard to reach areas of the bike and then plenty of leverage from those uh, wooden handles. So lovely tools. If you're doing a lot of work on a bike and you just want a nicer tool, um, I mean these are lovely to use, but sometimes you might want a tool like this which is gonna be a bit nicer to use. Every home workshop, home mechanic needs a good chain tool if you're putting a new chain on your bike having a good proper workshop quality chain tool can make a difference much easier to use than those small chain tools you get on a multi-tool um, so you can definitely do a better job and look at the quality of that it's really nicely made it's just beautiful that would definitely make working on your bike and fixing or replacing a chain much easier so yeah the quality of this is lovely You've got a lovely wooden handle large uh, CNC machine aluminium handle so plenty of um, leverage on a really stubborn chain when you're trying to get the pin out and it doesn't want to budge so yeah it's really nice that is and that works with 8, 9, 10 and 11 speed chains there's also a 12 speed version if you have a newer 12 speed bike so that's a really nice tool high quality tools like this workshop quality tools are a good investment because they make life easier only a few tools remaining now so stay with me uh, if you haven't already make sure you subscribe to my channel Let's dive into some of the last remaining tools to show you. And one that is really useful, and I've had one like it for a long time, is a pedal spanner. If you have a fleet of bikes like me and you're always changing bikes and you might only have a few sets of pedals, then changing pedals on a regular basis is much easier when you have a tool like this. And this is a beautiful tool. I mean, a big slab of aluminium, really nicely machined. Got a really hard wearing, durable uh, 15 millimeter spanner with two options as well and you have a bottle opener just in case you need a beer after you've done your pedal swap onto some slightly more intermediate to advanced tools now and that is being able to remove a cassette from the wheel which is something i do on a regular basis i'm always testing wheels testing different bikes i'm always swapping cassettes over so having good quality tools makes the job much easier and we have a chain whip which is the most odd looking tool in a cycling workshop so the job of a chain whip is simply to hold the cassette in place, stop it moving because you've got a free will, remember? So the chain whip holds it in place. So you can then use a cassette lock ring tool to remove the lock ring, which is holding the cassette in place. And for removing the cassette, Lazion has a really neat tool up its sleeve, which actually has two purposes. 
The first is removing that cassette lock ring tool, and the second is also bottom brackets. But first, that cassette lock ring tool. So that is a tool in question. Uh, that is your cassette lock ring tool. So you use a chain whip, hold the cassette in place, put that in the cassette lock ring tool, and then you use this tool here for the leverage you need. So quite simply, you've got this CNC rod, big slab of aluminium again. This tool goes into the end, you tighten up like so, and then put that in the end of the cassette, hold the cassette in place with that one, and then loosen it. And that is how you do it. So really high quality again, really nicely made. This is a big chunk of metal that is, but it looks to be high quality. That's gonna be very durable and last a long time. And then you flip it over, you have a bottom bracket removal tool, an external bottom bracket removal tool compatible with, it says, Chris King, Truvative GXP, FSA, Mega, XO, Raceface, X-Type, Shimano, Holotech 2, Campag, Ultra Torque, and Phil Wood outboard bearings. So you have a cassette lock ring tool and a bottom bracket removal tool all in one. And that's a really neat tool, uh, two functions in one and really nicely made. So that together is a really good set of intermediate to advanced tools if you're replacing cassettes. And finally, the last tool on my list is probably not one I use that often to be honest, but it's really essential. And sometimes you do need to true a wheel. And this is a three-way spoke wrench a useful tool to have uh, much easier to use than any of those fiddly spoke wrenches you get on a multi-tool so a really good useful tool to have um, luckily like I say I don't have to true wheels that often but if you do then that could be useful so those are some essential tools I think that most cyclists should have starting with your very very essentials like a set of multi-tools and then moving on to more advanced stuff like a torque wrench um, definitely want a pedal spanner, um, cassette lock ring removal tools, chain breaker. So some really nicely made tools, um, pretty reasonably priced. Um, I can't wait to try them out. I've got a few bike build projects coming up down the line, but I do a lot of bike uh, fettling on a regular basis, always moving bits around different bikes. So having high quality tools just makes life much easier. And whether you're new to cycling and you want some basic tools like a good set of Allen wrenches, or you're doing some more advanced jobs. Hopefully there's something here for everyone and give you a few ideas for where to spend a bit of money on some high quality tools. And it really is worth investing in good quality tools. Buy cheap, you buy twice is the mantra that really does come true. So buy some good quality tools and they will look after you and be an investment basically if you're planning to cycle for the rest of your life, which most of us hopefully are. So some good quality tools. Thank you to Lazine for equipping my home workshop for those future build projects coming down the line soon.